What's a Weetabix? Oh my god. Alright. Imagine wheat, but a bixed. That's what it that's not what it means. The the verb to a bix actually means to push something into a shape which looks like a square with a semicircle on one end and a semicircle on the other, roughly two centimeters thick. And you put two of them in a bowl, you put milk on the top, you sprinkle a little bit of sugar or a little bit of honey if you're posh like me, and then you eat them with a spoon. But when you eat them, and this is what people forget about Weetabix, when you eat them with a spoon, there is a process. Allow me to explain why the process is important. And it's important that I explain this to you because my group teleport is on cooldown and I've got to somehow fill 20 minutes worth of stream as I walk all the way back to that dude. When you eat Weetabix, think about this. Imagine it's covered, you've got, you know, honey on the top. You take your spoon, you cut into the Weetabix and because your bowl is curved, you scoop toward the edge of the bowl and what happens is the Weetabix falls onto the spoon honey side, which means the honey is now pressed against the metal. And then you eat the Weetabix, but you don't get all the honey because some of the honey is on the spoon still. Now you could just, you know, lick the spoon, which is fine, but I don't like that. What you need to do is this. You need to use the spoon to cut into the Weetabix and then lift the spoon up. And instead of continuing one smooth motion where the honey falls onto the spoon, you need to then take the spoon away, angle it and dip that under the section of Weetabix that you've cut. And that way, the honey is on the top. That way, you get maximum honey for minimum scoopage time. And that is the superior way to eat Weetabix.